Do you think Judge Hill gave you such a low bond because he knew your sister? Judge Stanley Hill gave this man, Vernell Johnson, bond, a D4,000 dollar bond plus EM, meaning 400 bucks cash to get out on electronic home monitoring. That after Judges David Navarro and Judge Eulalia De La Rosa both refused Johnson bond. Two judges had already held a guy on no bail. Yolande Bourgeois sat on the bench in Cook County for 11 years. She's now retired. You thought Judge Hill was going to be in trouble. It's an abuse of power. Judge Hill ordered that 400 buck bond only after a woman in the hearing asked for it. Maxine. And Maxine is Maxine Johnson, the sister of accused rapist Burnell Johnson. And Maxine Johnson is also a retired court clerk in Judge Hill's courthouse. It's outrageous. Police Chief Tom Weitzel's officers often appear in front of Judge Hill. Will you please take some corrective action in regards to Judge Hill? He wrote to Chief Judge Timothy Evans. Evans and the executive committee punished judges found to be in the wrong. Chief Judge Timothy Evans saw our report and, citing the potential conflict Sister Maxine Johnson posed, Judge Evans moved Burnell Johnson from the courthouse in Maywood to 26 and Cal. Chief Judge Evans has decided the remedy is to then move the defendant to another courthouse. Which indicates that Judge Evans even realizes there's a problem there. It's odd in that it doesn't address the initial problem, and that is the judge making a decision on a case where he knows one of the party's relatives. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Johnson? At 26 in Cal, Burnell Johnson's low bond is unlikely to change. He got in trouble in 2018 driving this pace bus. He's charged with seven counts of aggravated criminal sexual assault of a handicapped person, his passenger. Which brings us to now. Are you surprised you got a job driving a bus? Out on electronic monitoring, Johnson is driving a bus again for a state-funded program. Not anymore. He lost his job after we inquired. Johnson's pled not guilty. No comment from Judge Hill or any other judge for that matter. Brad Edwards, CBS2 Investigators.